गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू ओके नाउ द टाइम हैज कम दैट इज टमोरो यू आर हैविंग योर एग्जाम्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम लेट इस स्टार्ट विद द रिविजन ऑफ जी के ओके बिफोर गोइंग हेड विद द रिविजन देर आर टू बेटर न्यूज वी कैन नॉट से इट टू बी अ गुड न्यूज बट वी कैन से दैट टू बी अ बेटर न्यूज एज द नंबर ऑफ कोविड केसेस आर डिक्रीजिंग okay as uh, during the last few days the average number of cases was <clears throat> 198 or 200 186 in this way today the number of uh, yesterday the number of cases was 156 so there is a decrease slow little by little uh, and the recovery rate has also reached to 65% or even little bit more than that so this is a better news for us let's hope for the best and at the same time in the newspaper there was a news uh, regarding opening up of your uh, schools for 9 to 12 in september month due to this decreased cases of the covids okay so if 9 to 12 is going to uh, open in the month of september so most probably within one or two months later to that that is in october or november our classes will also be running as per the usual schedule which was there earlier that is the normal classrooms we are going to enjoy it okay but without wasting any time let us move ahead with the revision part okay so here uh, if you can see that is till now in each and every classes we said that this is the subject which is beyond boundaries okay now the time has come to test whether we have reached up to the boundaries or not or we are very near to the boundary or we are very far away from the boundary all these things are there which has to be now taken into consideration and now we will have to check it all right so uh, let us start with the revision okay all right so uh, before starting with this uh, i'll be showing you that entire screen okay if you can see here class that is this is the complete pdf okay if i can see here yes the screen is completely blank okay so now here what we uh, you can see is that i have compiled all the 17 pages which are there in our ut2 syllabus and this we are going to discuss now okay and thereafter we will continue with the revision i will also be telling you some more topics which will be covered apart from your this book exercises okay starting with the very first page we have the strange insects that is this page will be coming in identify the pictures or identify the given pictures as all of you know that the pages of your book it is not a photographic page so the quality or the print would be little bit different from your books as per given in the exams okay because they are directly taken from google or some other sources and since they have been directly uploaded there without any print out or something so much more clarity would be there and at the same time a slight difference can also be there so please do take care of this thing so that you will be able to identify it very clearly okay if you can see these insects so what you can see the legs or something are many are there okay here what you can see a face a kind of face and a lo very long beak is there okay so this is what you will have to identify some of the key features which are present in these insects so that in the exams you will be able to easily identify it all right moving ahead with the next one that is your sobriquets of indian cities so here basically these are the indian cities with the sobriquets which are present in them that is the famous places or the titles which have been given to them pink city of india all of us we know jaipur is known as the pink city city of lakes udaipur and jaipur very near okay so in this way here also that is from your first page as well as from the second page both the pages will be having the questions 
from identify the given pictures okay two types of questions can be asked one can be your identify the given picture another can be that is which city is known as the pink city of india direct questions can also be there okay moving ahead to this one that is your deadly diseases okay so in science what i remember is that we have certain page numbers okay 9 is there 22 and 23 may also be there okay so please prepare it very nicely okay because these are the portions which are going to be asked one or even more than one questions can be asked from here okay now here the question is as the first one says that you'll have to put i for the infectious diseases and n for the non infectious ones okay so in exams we will not you will not be getting in this way directly the questions will be asked malaria is a infectious disease or a non infectious disease okay or directly malaria is a dash disease fill in the blanks or directly name the following or direct question answers can be asked all right so this is what is there in this part don't forget to go through these fact files which are given at the corners or even below the chapters in this way if you can see mumbai was formerly known as bombay it was renamed in 1995 okay next is fill in the blanks here i hope the direct questions will be there or even name the following can also be there like uh, <coughs> what is the ability of the body to resist a particular disease is known as okay so this is known as your immunity malaria is caused by the parasites name okay whether it is your anopheles or your aedes for dengue malaria is for anopheles mosquito dengue is for your aedes mosquito female anopheles mosquito remember it okay moving ahead with some more if you can see influenza is an infectious disease which results in fever chills weakness that is these are the symptoms related to these diseases and questions can be asked from them so that you get a much more clear idea okay now see class all those who have prepared well and good all those who have not prepared please start preparing don't wait for the last moment because you don't have time now and the questions since all the questions will be having four options so if you will go through the chapters nicely you will be easily able to get or guess your answers okay moving ahead to the next page number we have lost in music okay that is while explaining this part i gave you a, a short video of uh, this famous person as well okay that was your jakir hussain and at the same time i also told you about shobha mukdal okay now the thing is that what how the questions can be asked so here also basically the questions will be asked in the form of identify the given pictures only okay because you cannot find any other kind of questions from this one next we have here the sport legends legends here questions can be asked in two ways that is the name of the legend can be given to you and the sports with which they are related this can be asked from you or the name of the sport can be given to you and the person or the sport legend associated with these sports can also be asked okay please go through it very nicely and at the same time don't forget to go through the fact files as well okay if we move ahead so we have here unique nature unique nature is what basically that is all those phenomenons all those activities which are done by the living by the non living or whatever activities are going on on the earth or whatever things are present on these surface of the earth we are going to talk about all these things in detail now only all right so if we move ahead 
so here what is the questions direct questions will be asked or even fill in the blanks can also be asked like if we take the example for the second one number two so here the questions can be direct question can be in the same way that is what is the most abundant metal on earth or second way the question can be asked that is dash is the most abundant metal on earth okay so in this way the questions can be asked from this page number okay last one which animal has fingerprints similar to a human being that is koala which bird has the longest wingspan albatross okay which is the shallowest ocean number 15 that is your arctic ocean so in this way the questions will be asked to you okay either fill in the blanks or direct questions answer the following fact files 70 percent of the plants identified by scientists which can be used for the treatment of cancer are found in the rainforest only okay politics in india here two types of questions either the flags will be represented or the symbols will be shown to you and you will have to identify the type uh, the political party or the person that is political party will be shown to you you will be have to identify the person associated with it or person will be given to you you have to identify the party associated with him okay him or her is it clear fact file indira gandhi was the first female prime minister of india she was assassinated in 1984 assassinated means what killed in 1984 okay which political leader inspires you and why this is your choice questions you will have to do it interesting inventions i have told you this one as well about that can box as well as the o1 okay so what you have to do is that is you have to remember the name of the scientist what you can do is you can write down the answers in front of them that is atm that uses pin number this was discovered by james goodfellow so you can write down here james goodfellow okay so that you will be able to memorize it in a much quicker manner okay instead of searching here and there okay uh, as we have done last year of dukkha kund students okay the other branches also you can do you can just write down the answers wherever fill in the blanks are there just write down the answers in front of them so that you can easily learn it and memorize it next one these are the famous some of the famous scientists here also the pictures can be given and you will be asked to identify them okay can be asked dance 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 okay this also page numbers i have told you if you remember i gave you the uh, short video on capora okay which was the dance form of brazil like the martial art form okay and so uh, kabuki flamenco hopak okay <coughs> quadrille polka waltz all these dance forms either the pictorial representations can be there or your fill in the blanks can be there that is dash is the dance form from france which includes four couples standing in a square formation so that is nothing but your quadril okay so in this way the questions can be asked from this page number all right moving ahead to this that is your sporting families now see here two types of questions will be there that is either this side can be asked that is name the sports uh, name the sport related with these sport persons or name the sport person related with these sports okay so if any type of questions that is if the person is asking name the sport person associated with cricket so both the options are correct steve Waugh as well as mark Waugh. okay so you have to remember it you have to take care so that you do not get into trouble and remember the site more carefully along with your spellings as well okay these are the famous people this is i hope uh, you remember him this is not no one but your milka singh uh, okay and this one uh, i hope he is the brother of irfan pathan that is your yusuf pathan 
ओके फेमस बॉलर वेरी गुड एज वेल एज बैट्समैन एज वेल डेजर्ट लैंड ओके हियर ऑल्सो द क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्क डायरेक्टली दैट इज नेम द कूल एरिड डेजर्ट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द फिफ्थ वन नेम द कूल एरिड डेजर्ट फाउंड इन नॉर्दर्न शेल विच इज रिच इन मिनरल रिसोर्स इन दिस वे ऑल्सो और इट कैन ऑल्सो बी आस्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स दैट डैश इज द कूल एरिड डेजर्ट फाउंड इन नॉर्दर्न शेल विच इज रिच इन मिनरल रिसोर्स सो एनी वेज द क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ड टू यू वैन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मूवमेंट्स यूर सो इन द केस ऑफ मूवमेंट्स ओके now you have different types of movements last year also in class 7th you all have studied about chipko movement quit india movement okay but you did not studied about the revolutions okay so here you have both that is your uh, movements are also there revolutions are also there you will have to remember them by their key points okay now see maybe the entire question will be given to you and you will have to choose the correct option or your key points will be given to you like if you see the first example so it is a non violent social and ecological movement by indian villagers particularly women in the 1970s either this can be given and you have to select the option or if this the same question can be asked in this way also that dash is the movement which is aimed at protecting trees and forest from logging by the government agencies okay so this is how you will have to prepare it this is how you will have to do it okay next is you have the quit india movement again key points that is gandhi's call for call for complete independence in india or demanding a complete withdrawal of the british from india name the movement so that is quit india movement as the name suggests quit means either you get out of our country or you must have observed quit in the while playing your games as well okay moving ahead this operation was launched to make india one of the largest producers of milk and milk products remember since milk is white in color so the name of the revolution is also given as white revolution and the father of this revolution was dr vergis curian okay so this is how you'll have to prepare it so that you be on a safer side and do not get into any kind of trouble moving ahead with this that is in response to the calls of lal lal bal pal in 1905 this movement demanded freedom from the british rule by by boycotting british products and reviving the use of indian made products what we are doing it today as well that is boycotting chinese products and trying to make products inside our own country only okay so this is how we have to remember the key points so that we will be able to answer in a much better way okay moving ahead to the director diaries so here also the questions can be asked that is either the name of the director can be asked or the name of the film related to this director can be asked or both can be asked in one question only that is dash is the dash that is guljar is what he is a director known for aadhi movie or the Adi movie is the director of Adi movie is Dash Guljar. So in this way, that is James Cameron is the director of Dash Titanic movie. So this is how you will have to decide. You will have to take care so that you do not get into any kind of trouble. Is that clear to all of you? Okay. So this is how. That is you just have to remember here also. I just now I told you class that is this is your fill in the blanks. write down the answers in front of it okay so that you will be able to memorize it remember it very quickly okay next fact files don't forget moving ahead volcanoes and the earthquakes okay now here also match the following write it down in front of it same type of questions that is either the location of the volcanoes can be asked that is where was this volcano originated or name the volcano associated with india or anything like that can be asked to you okay 
choose the correct option that is this can be asked in your multiple choice questions only that is the options will be given to you but here the direct questions will be there or it can also be there in the form of fill in the blanks all right here also some famous fact files that is your <laughs> Sichuan province China in 2008 Lakpila Italy 2009 Port au Prince Hathi in 2010 this I remember okay I don't remember these two okay next was next I don't remember any one of them all right if we move ahead to the next one that is our neighboring India here also the questions will be asked directly as identify the given picture okay please look for the key features in these pictures have a closer look so that you can identify it quickly because as I told you in the earlier few moments ago that is this is not your photographic page we are not doing the Xerox we are not doing the printouts so the quality which you will be getting in your questions will be completely different from the quality which is present in front of you is that clear so please do take care of these things okay moving ahead fill in the blanks okay this one can be asked that is directly like the first one dash have the short border with china at the end of wakhan corridor okay in this way or the last one the heir to the throne of bhutan is also known as the dash prince dragon prince okay so this is how some of the questions which can be asked to you moving ahead forms of government here also direct questions will be given to you that is you will have to just remember the key features related to these different types of governments whether it is dictatorship totalitarian monarchy or your theocracy or any other types of movement which is there or any other type of government like democracy so here the country is governed by the representatives of elected by the people of the country which we are having okay india is a democratic country okay dictatorship like your china okay where one power has one people has the complete okay completely we maybe it is shown democratic but it is basically it is dictatorship only okay remember it moving ahead to the next one that is here some questions are also given to you so here the questions uh, are nothing but direct fill in the blanks are there they will be asked as it is no changes in this one fact file do remember natural wonders again remember figure it out okay you have to identify it now this is going to be a little tough okay because basically these are mostly the river bodies each and every one is having the uh, river bodies but you will have to identify it by some or the other key features okay so this was all for our entire pdfs which we have discussed today is that clear moving ahead to the first from here we started okay now let me tell you some more important things okay so we have discussed the entire PDF okay I told you that the pictures will be a little bit different from your books textbooks as they are directly taken from the internet okay next is that is current affairs okay current affairs heart to heart or max to max two to three months back not more than that okay out of which some of them I have already told you some of them uh, what you can go through it that uh, please go through the space okay space missions which are being carried out by different countries not only India and at the same time the different kinds of movements which are going on the government schemes okay and at the same time sports okay one question can be your sports as well now see out of that 20 marks uh, hard to hard or max to max two to three marks questions will be there for uh, from your current affair part okay and one or two marks questions will be there from your logical uh, ability that is some kind of 
number series will be given to you and you will have to identify it you will have to complete that or maybe alphabetical series are given to you you will have to perform it okay so this is how some you will have to do it okay please be ready for that please do practice it all and apart from this uh, PDF we have done pictures I told you they will be a little bit different current affairs I told you and uh, what is left is there anything left no number series I told you number series or alphabetical series that is the logical questions will be asked to you so this is all for today okay now I have uh, given my 110 percent from my side now it is your turn to give your 110 percent or more than that even okay and I hope that you will be giving your 200 percent so that you will be able to score full marks okay basically what is going to ponder you or what is going to little bit uh, tickle you or make some kind of difficulty is your current affairs so in that also i told you some of the key points through which you can go through and you will be able to do it easily okay that is not a very big uh, task so please go through it because current affair is uh, something which is uh, beyond bound we cannot go uh, we cannot have a look over it but please try to go through the key points which i have told you you will be able to secure very good marks apart from that all those who have studied till now very well and good all those who have not started very bad you should have done you should have prepared till now but still a lot of time is there you have the entire day start preparing now you have only 13 to 14 or 17 pages which is not more than uh, that is not your entire book is coming or something like that okay so please start preparing now okay so that you can uh, at least able to guess the answers from the options which are given to you is that clear so this was all for today hope we'll be meeting in the next class okay till then take care and take all the necessary precautions so that you as well as your family remains safe from covid 19 and give your best so that you will be able to score superb marks is that clear thanks a lot with, for being with me thank you